No pressure or anything. Sit here and have a conversation. Alright, I'm here with Tommy. What's your last name? McKay. Tommy McKay. How old are you, Tommy? I'm 31. 31? Alright, yeah. uh, I'm getting up there, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where'd you, uh, where'd you grow up, Ron? Uh, near Houston. Near Houston? Yeah, yeah. There's a small town called Waller in the northwest area of Houston. Right on. All yeah, right. yeah, a little cow town. How'd you end up uh, in Austin? All of my friends moved here, so I just followed them and went to school here. Uh, that's nice when you move to a new place and you have like familiar faces yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to go off on your own. Yeah, yeah. You went to school here, you said? Mm -hmm. What did yeah, you go to yeah. school for? Uh, art. I was an art student. Really? I didn't know that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I painted and shit. Cool. Well, what, uh, what profession did you get into? I worked with autistic kids. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, behavioral therapy, I guess, is what it's called. Uh, but, do, yeah. do you work art into the therapy? Are they connected? Or uh, they yeah, man, it wasn't really connected, but I would draw little illustrations for them uh, just to illustrate, like, social situations, you know, like in Highlights Magazine. You yeah. ever read Highlights Magazine? Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, don't do what Donnie Don't does. Do what good Gary does, you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of like shit like that. That's cool, man. It's real cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, one of them actually uh, got into jujitsu. Really? Yeah. How, how did you great. get into training? How old were you when you started this whole. Thing? I was 22, I think, when I started doing jujitsu. And I, I had really no. I mean, I just like moved weights around in my room and I had no other like physical training at all before that. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty, like, hard right turn. Yeah. yeah. But I was always way uncoordinated, and even in, early in jiu-jitsu, I had two left feet, you know, and I yeah. couldn't, it took me a long time to figure it out. But, uh... You definitely figured it out. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, Gracie Mites has helped a lot, you know. Is yeah, that what yeah, you, did you start true. training there? Have you always trained there? Uh, no, I trained at another place, uh, another Gracie place, a Helsin Gracie place in town. And then that main guy, Phil, left. And a bunch of people left and sort of started their own thing. All right, everyone kind of branched out. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo it, was not, it was only really one, really. Just like a lot of the students really just went here. Some went a couple other places, but almost everybody went, went here. So we have this new instructor who's great, but all the training partners I've had, I've had for forever. That's since, good. I, since I started, yeah. You get like a brother mode with them guys, right? Oh, yeah. Totally. Uh, you sweat together, you're paying together. You, yeah. Well, yeah. you all grow together, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Straight. Uh, do you have any uh, sort of kickboxing type experience or wrestling or anything like that? Oh uh, well, it's hard not to not to have some wrestling. Taking jujitsu for so long, someone's going to show you some wrestling, and it just kind of will bleed together into yeah. your grappling. So I'd say yeah, wrestling, yeah. But the kickboxing thing, I've really just started. Uh, just putting that together. Uh, you're you were fat professional wrestling, right? Yeah, 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 as a kid for sure, and, and now, again, like, uh, watching the latest New Japan shit and yeah. stuff has been really, yeah, it's been really good. This is something I've, I've actually trying to ask a lot of people about. How would you compare the American WWE style wrestling to, like, the New Japan product? Oh, uh, well... I don't know, you, everybody says, I guess, the New Japan style and the Japanese style, they try to be more real, you know, in a sense, but they they have the same spots a lot of times that, that they have in America now, but it's just less, more more matches, less vignettes, I right. guess, less I chit chat, you know, but they still have a press conference where people push each other, oh, yeah, you know what I mean, drama they it. still do that kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, You've uh, recently become a father, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, in June last year, I gave, uh, I didn't give birth. <laughs> I was there while it was happening. Uh, they were born, yeah, in June, two girls. Damn. Yeah, two, two girls. Have you felt that change your life or uh, your perception of important? or, you know, not just, obviously things are going to change. You have kids, you know, you got yeah, new diapers, yeah. like things, like you have more responsibilities. But have you noticed any difference uh, more in like your philosophy, how you see the world or anything like that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 
Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, you just get so, you're so doing things all the time that you don't really reflect, you know? So yeah. I'm not really like, as a single person, you have time to sit and reflect. But <laughs> when you have things happening, you have things happening. Yeah, you know what I mean? Way. So you can't philosophize about what you're doing. You just have to be doing things, yeah. you know? But that's good. I, yeah, I think it's being like a, I don't know, you know, a man, of, you're a man of deeds now instead of just like a person of thought, you know? Yeah. People are measured by what you've done, your actions. Things are very real. You have lives dependent on you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still manage, so you work, you have two brand new baby twin girls, and you manage to work your training schedule with it as well? Yeah, man. I don't know how, but somehow I've been training more. It seems like, I guess since they've been born, I've had to really figure out time management. Yeah. You know? So now uh, that I've figured out time management, I've been able to like schedule my training really well. So I, I go all the time, so I still train quite a lot. Yeah, and I guess, you know, my, my wife's very nice to, you know, take care of the kids. Your yeah. Passion. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. I mean, Jiu Jitsu was here before she was here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she knew the deal from the start, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't just like a phase. You know? Yeah. It's going to be around for a long time. <laughs> well, damn, I think we got some good shit here. It was fucking good yeah, talking to you and stuff. Uh, we'll put on a good show this Saturday. I'm super excited about it. Thank you for everything. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate I'll see you uh, on the mat. See you on the mat. Yeah, awesome.